iOS 11 has offered another great feature in Safari. It allows you to be on a web page or on a website and to create a PDF right from this site. And I'm going to go up to the share sheet, which is in the upper right hand corner, the box with the arrow, and tap on that. And I'm going to navigate on the bottom row over to create PDF. Now, before I create this PDF, um, looking at this article, there's a lot of advertising on here, and I would like to clean that up. So I'm actually going to use the Safari Reader View. Those little lines in the box where the teachthought.com is, to the left of that, there's those little lines. I'm going to tap on those. And notice what it does is it cleans out a lot of the distraction. Um, and I don't get all the pictures that were originally in the article, but I do get like my main picture. I can tap on the A's on the right part of it. I can change a background color. I can change the font. I can change the size of the font and adjust it. So if I wanted to share this with students um, or with some peers, I could go ahead and adjust that to be a better view. Now I'm gonna tap on the share sheet again, and I am gonna create the PDF this time. And I'm going to get some choices. Now before, if you needed to do any marking up in the upper right hand corner, there is the little markup and I could select to mark it up. Um, like if I wanted to go ahead and circle um, eight, there are eight things to look for and then I could talk about it in this part, you know. However you want to mark it up, tap on the word done in the upper left and save file to. Now it's going to need to select a place for you. Um, I'm going to do the iCloud Drive and just tap on Add because that's what's selected. And I want to show you that if I double click and go to um, my files, it's going to show me in my iCloud Drive the article that I just wanted and I made a PDF of.